Jason, you say I have three balloons here. Hmm? One is filled with helium. Okay. One is filled with hydrogen, and the other is filled with a combination of air and carbon dioxide because I blew it up. Oh, okay. Can you tell me which is which? Okay, well, helium and hydrogen are both like lighter than air, so they'd float. Mm -hmm. And that one's not floating, so I guess that would be the air. That must be the air. And those are both floating, and you can't I tell can't tell the difference, okay. no. Now, what do you know about helium and hydrogen? Well, they float. Okay, that they're lighter than air. But I wondered if you knew about the dirigible. Do you remember the Hindenburg? Oh, yeah, it, uh, a spark ignited it and it exploded. Something ignited yeah. it, and nobody okay. knows for sure. And it, what was it filled with? Hydrogen, I Hydrogen, think? yes, yeah. and it burned, and it's a famous newsreel picture, isn't it? Yeah. And so helium, they now fill balloons. When you get a balloon at the circus or a fair or something, and it floats off the end of a string, what yeah. is it? It's helium. Right, because it's not flammable. Okay. So one way of determining which was which over there would be to take a burning sparkler at the end of a long stick and bring it near to each Ooh. balloon, right? Yeah. That's why I gave you safety glasses. Okay. But I'd suggest that you break this balloon first so that you get the idea of what happens when a plain balloon filled with non-flammable gas breaks. Okay. Then go from there to the next one and finally the last one. And you tell me which is helium, which is hydrogen. Okay. Okay. Number one. Whoa. That was air, okay? Okay. And here comes this. What do you think it's going to be? I guess, I don't know, well, maybe hydrogen. Fine. No, I guess it was, that was helium. helium. The last one now must be? Ooh, hydrogen. All right, give it a try. That's... Wow. Is hydrogen.